We're making three belly bands using library pockets and no papers. These are for the October one of a kind junk journal for the challenge. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here and I'm gonna work on belly bands. So our third element is belly bands. We have our one cover, our two signatures, and now we're gonna do belly bands. And I'm not gonna just do the plain old strip belly bands like um, you can find in many of my other videos and other people's. I'm going to do using other items that you might have in your stash that I happen to have in my stash. I'm going to open to this map page. It has a lot of color to it. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to use that for my first one. I have the library, library pockets that I had gotten at Tuesday morning. And I am going to just use that. Now to get a good um, a good place for it, I'm going to start working this a little bit, okay, and just give it a little bit of a curve so that when I put it on here it will stay, okay. That idea of a belly band is that you it's a pocket that has an open top and bottom that you can insert a tag or a booklet or a card behind. <clears throat> and it will stay in that spot. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. Right about there. We'll come over to here. So I have my two lines. Put my top back on my fabric tack. And I am going to grab a piece of cello just because I'm working so close to the edge over here on this side. Okay, and I'm going to put this down. Okay, and this gives me a belly band. And um, for this purpose, you can go ahead and just make your belly band. You don't actually have to decorate it, in, especially if your journal is one that you're going to be decorating later. And this particular journal, I am going to be decorating in November with the things that I'm grateful for. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and save that for when I decorate. But I do need to hold this down so that it will stay. Okay, it hasn't gotten in the way of the flip out here. Okay, so this is going to be a belly band, and you can, you'll be able to put something behind it. Okay, so let's find something that will actually fit. Okay, so you'll be able to put something behind there. And on this one, we also still have the pocket from the library pocket. Okay. For some reason, we did not stay glued down. So I'm going to put some more glue down here. Sometimes, sometimes it just looks shiny. Like it's got glue on it and it didn't really have glue on it. So there we go. Okay, so next I have something that I started doing in a, a couple of journals ago and I really like the way it turns out and it is a um, using the note papers that I love and I collect I collect them so I have so many of them and so we are gonna find a place I like using the cardstock um, or something like a page that has a lot going on but doesn't really have a place to write. Um, sometimes for a belly band. I'm going to use this here. And what I have is I have the Truly Grateful, <clears throat> which works really good for this 
um, for the, the journal that I'm making because it's about all of the things that I'm grateful and thankful for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the base of these, okay, because they were a little longer than the page. Sometimes I've been able to do them and they are just about like right at the right length and I've just had to cut just a little off the top and a little off the bottom, but that's going to give me something I'll be able to use throughout the journal as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is first we're going to make the belly band, and I'm going to be using this note paper for my belly band. Cleaning off the top of the glue. So we're going to go across, and put a band across the top, and one across the bottom. on okay and attach it in the center okay there we go so this actually right there that will be that's my belly band okay right there is my belly band and you can separate it you can separate it here and have two um, two spots for items to, to be in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach the two more of these note papers on top of it. They will give me more writing space to tell my story and they still they still match. They look You've got, you just put, stack them right on top of each other. So stack a note belly band right here. Using pretty note papers. And I got these at Tuesday morning. Okay, so I have the extra notes and I have the place that I'll be able to hold something. So that's belly band number two. And then we have belly band number three. And I'm gonna come all the way back to another one of these. And I have one of the notepads that I gotten a while back at um, Dollar Tree. It came with a little calendar. And I just, I think this looks amazing right here with on there. So we're going to do a note paper belly band. Um, you can thicken this up if you want to, um, especially if it's some, a place that you're going to be pulling things in and out of. I really think in for myself, once I get the, the stuff into this journal, it's not going to get pulled in and out a whole lot. Okay, but if this was a journal that I was going to be um, using and things could be coming and going out of it, I, I, that's something I would um, do is I would back this onto cardstock. Okay, so there I have just a note paper belly band. Very simple. Um, not super complicated okay but again I'm gonna be able to put a tag or something in there and just like that okay so we have our three belly bands okay and again on this one you can actually put like two tags And then we have our, our map paper. Okay. So. Okay. 
are three different belly bands. Okay, so you can go out and make whatever type of belly bands that you want for your journal. Um, the requirement is three belly bands, okay? So which one was your favorite? I love this one, especially if you have a bigger story to tell. I think this is awesome for a writing journal and to be able to use up some of those pretty note papers that we get. And then I really like the way this one turns out. Um, I love this. It, it matched. There's um, a, some papers in here, these that I had and I was I'm like so excited to get to use them it I did go with the rose theme but I'm excited that it still has kind of a little bit of a fall look with those papers in there find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe come back for more of the October one-of-a-kind junk journals for the junk journal challenge have a great day bye-bye